Hello everybody and welcome back to BeamNG Drive and today we're going on a snowman hunt. I mean you can already hear you can sort of hear them with the Christmas carol sort of noises. So here's the first one already. And I just, just hope I didn't break something or is that just the snowman? Oh, this thing is a handful. And yeah, that probably wasn't a bright idea. I need something with more suspension travel. Yeah. Yeah, are you hiding? That's the question. Is it somewhere in this circle? Here we go. That's that one collected. And then we're going to make a right turn here. I'm just sort of checking the map. Oh, this thing doesn't handle. I tend to forget that this isn't. Yeah. Actually, I think I might grab a four-wheel drive or something. It's probably best for certainly if I want to do any funny antics. Uh, let's. Yeah, I was going to do it in a fast car, but I think with all the hills I should probably go for it. Okay, what will we go? Oh, where's the link? Roma. Off road. This can handle a few jumps. And I hope my nose doesn't get any worse today. For some reason, I'm having a violent allergic reaction to something. Uh, even after taking the allergy medication I have, uh, is having almost no effect at all. Yeah, this is more like it, although cornering ability leaves a lot to be desired. Handling's still utterly crap. Probably somewhere around here. Now I have to just have to listen carefully. Oh, I bet it's in here somewhere. They're always hidden. See? As I've got pretty much all the ones on the other maps, uh, so I have a rough idea where they usually hide them. Now we need to come down into the port area here and. Oh, this thing doesn't corner very well. Now it's fast in a straight line, so that's what's important. go. And once you get a spin on this one, it doesn't give up. Right. So I got the first four. And I want to go left here and And yeah, <laughs> oh, I'm not with it today. I blame the allergies. <laughs> oh, that sounded horrible. I hope you didn't hear that. Yeah.
It's in the parking building, isn't it? Best thing about this is I can jump curbs easily. He's up on top, isn't it? I'm tempted to free cam up there and just teleport the vehicle. Where's the... Much better. I mean, I can't really see what I'm doing, but at least I can uh, maneuver. Damn, I was hoping I could get him through the floor because this vehicle's so tall. Oh well, up another level. This is a sneaky one. There we go, in reverse. And ease it back down this, because I actually cannot see what I'm doing. This viewing angle is a bit narrow. I mean, in real life, this is a piece of cake, but. This is in real life, and I've only got what the screen can see. Chase Kim, and let's see. I've gotten half of them so far, and I assume the rest are hidden probably over the other side. God, I'm not feeling well today. I'm really hoping they're not hidden too well, because I know some of them I ended up having to free cam just about everywhere to um, get some of them because they were hidden on maces and so on. And I'm going to have to backtrack miles for that one I just saw a glimpse of. I do remember I have to take corners very slowly in this thing. entertaining video but all right there it is. Is that the one I saw or is that a different one? No that was a different one. No matter. And yeah I'm starting to wonder if now that I'm away from the hills over there if I actually need the heavy duty four wheel drive. Oh well it does make a more entertaining video of me grappling with this and trying not to f tip it over and Hiding in the bushes somewhere. Oh no, never mind. Only problem with this thing is that its acceleration is so much better than its brakes. Though you can drift it, it just ends to spin out. So unlike most vehicles it can actually survive the odd rough terrain but that's kind of why I picked it. What are the odds actually that it is? And that was a bit closer than, than um, that was a close shave. But I should start by looking in the movie lot or maybe picking a third vehicle. Yeah, normally I plan quite truly what I'm going to use, but my planned vehicle didn't turn out very well. So I have to look at this. See, these circles are actually quite large, so they cover a decent area. What are the odds that it's on the other side of the motorway? First, don't I? Now, where else could it be? I can hear it. It's either 
under here or up on the bridge. No, that must be up on the bridge. And I'm kind of glad I got the jeep now, because uh, I get a feeling this is supposed to be like a Ford Explorer or something. Now I have to come all the way back out around here and... Well, that went better than expected actually. And yeah, this isn't really the best vehicle for a quick video. <laughs> As, mind you, these ones are it's always a case of... Um, picking something that's probably, considering how well these are usually hidden, I'm going to need something that can jump a few curbs. Yeah, here we go. That was fun. Now I need to go down the other end and... I assume there's some down on the racetrack and all that. This is actually quite fast on a straight road, but I wouldn't want to try this kind of speed on any curves. There's only three more to go. coming up to my off ramp. Yeah, this is the one here, and now i got to find the racetrack. Of course, since I can't pull up a bigger map than the one I've already got, I have to sort of wing it, or maybe do some off-road excursions. I am in four-wheel drive, after all. Unfortunately, there's a fence in the way, so I have to stick to the road, for now at least. And now, wait a minute, do I come over here? Yeah, I do, I don't I? Is that it? Oh, what the hell. Yeah, I thought that was going to happen. Alright then, come on. Here's the final three. Alright, one is over here. And yeah, I can see it. And as you can sort of see, the curb jumping ability of this is quite good. Which Saves a bit of time, I guess. Now, where will you be hiding? And not now, phone. What did I get hung up on? That's weird. I think I've run into an invisible barrier. Yeah. Yeah, that is an invisible barrier. <laughs> and whatever it is, just ate the truck. Alright, I have to come around the long way then. Yeah, actually, I might get this one first. Yeah, this thing does understeer a bit. Hang on a sec, I think. Yeah, that's a bit more like it. Alright, actually, how do I get over there onto the dirt track? Unfortunately, turning off four-wheel drive does make it a bit 
more spin around. Oh. There we go. And let's see. One more over on the other racetrack. I suppose I can waste a few minutes having a bit of fun. And unlike the other vehicle, I can actually jump this. Drifting. I actually was going to pick a more driftable. Oh, it's right over here. That was easy. If that's it, I've got them all. And I even got the Winter Wonderland achievement. Yeah, and yeah, never actually been had anything. Actually, going to turn the four wheel drive back on simply so I don't spin out constantly. And find out whatever this place is. Oh wow, so there's two choices of the racetrack. <laughs> I've never actually come out here before, so... I actually have no idea where these course, this course goes and not everything. If I had the other car, actually, this would be a lot more fun, but... Can't be bothered switching now. Especially as we're in like, the final minute or two. Oh! oh. Yeah, that's not happening. <laughs> anyway, at this point, I think I'm going to leave it for now. And I'll see you next time in BMNG Drive.